What is going on guys? Skits here back with yet another short and sweet guide for World of Warcraft Legion and today I'm going to tell you why in patch 7.1.5 it's the 26th of January why I picked up or picked back up mass prospecting. Okay so previously when Legion got released everybody was mass prospecting all of the ore no matter what the prices were because gems were a hot commodity right? So now fast forward to Nighthold being released and a lot more content, a lot more alts, a lot more raid progression because more alts because of the artifact knowledge catch up, you know, so on and so forth. My other video actually explains why, you know, the jewel crafting market is picking back up in patch 7.1.5. But right now in this video, I'm going to show you why I'm supplementing not only mass prospecting, but cooking together to make an insane amount of gold. And I'm going to tell you why. So you mass prospected traditionally for the gems right because you crafted the gems they were a hot commodity and now after nighthold got released the gem prices are going back up so that's reason in itself to mass prospect but the gem chips to make as you can see on the screen here the nightborn delicacy platter are going up as well so basically what i am teaching you guys or i want you guys to try to do this if you check your undermine journal It'll tell you what's been going on with the prices as far as the past week and when Nighthold hit. But for a majority of NA and EU realms, gems have gone up. Price of food has gone up. So what does that mean? Let's cut gems. Let's mass prospect. And let's kill, I guess, two birds with one stone. But the only thing you need, and granted, I'm only rank two, but I'm still making great gold. If you're rank three or have somebody in your guild or a friend that has rank three of the Nightborn Delicacy Platter, you can take this a step further. So the Barracuda is cheap, the gem chips you're going to get from mass prospecting, and I call that a win-win because you get gems, win. You don't get gems, you get gem chips in, in uncommon green gems instead, also a win. And you guys could even take it one step further and say that even the green gems are terrible now, but when patch 7.2 hits in a couple months, you'll be able to mass obliterate that no matter if you have your Obliterum Forge open or not, everyone's going to get it in patch 7.2. You can either um, obliterate your green gems and, you know what I'm saying, sell the Obliterum outright because of the increase in cap. I think to 875 it's going. So Starlight Rose, amazing point right now because I don't know if another big... Um, bot epidemic is happening or whatever but all of the starlight rose and a majority of your legion herbs are all super cheap right now the eggs the wildfowl eggs not even going to mention those they're going for copper and silver sometimes and then the snails you can get from the vendor so the materials are very cheap but this is just a supplement again to jewel crafting and mass prospecting so a lot of fell slate out there a lot of random um just terrible stacks one stack of 43 one stack of 11 one stack of 55 a lot of random stacks are out there gobble them up if they're under the usual price or under 50 gold i usually pick up everything i mass prospect i get gems i cut the gems and i send over all of the materials to cook with so really nothing goes to waste so I hope this video helped. If you have any questions or your prices are kind of out of whack, let me know in the description below. Leave a comment and I will uh, we'll go from there because I'm actually kind of curious to see um, as the new tier and the new, uh, I guess, progression unfolds with Nighthold, how food prices are going to do and how gem prices are actually going to respond to all this. So like I said, try this out. If you like this video, if it helped, if you tried this and it helped, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it, and most importantly, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Love y'all. Have a great day. Peace.